Hi everyone, Ruth Ann Meyer from the Pittsfield Mildred Ellie campus. I'm the student care representative there. In this video, I want to show you how to access your student email. Um, there is two ways to do this. So I'll start with one way and the second one is pretty easy. So let me dive in. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and we will go through how to access it. So you will always need to access your email through the student portal or you can access it through the app. So let me show you the student portal way first. So you'll go to mildred-le.edu, which is our website, and then you will hit student portal. When you hit student portal, on this page, you will scroll down until you see these green bubbles. On these green bubbles, you will need to click email login. When you click email login, it will bring you to a login page. Um, I'm, I'm actually currently logged in. So let me log out and show you how the process works. So yet again, student portal page, email login. You will get to a page that kind of looks like this. It will say sign in and your emails are pretty long. So I would definitely recommend one, saving your username and password if you're on a personal computer. And if not, um, just make sure you have your credentials somewhere saved safely, either on your phone or somewhere else. So yours would be your last name, first initial at students.mildred-le.edu. Um, the main times people have login issues with their email is because they either switch the um, dot and the dash or forget the S at the end of students in their email. Once you make sure that's all correct, you'll hit next and you'll enter your password, which is usually your initials with six random numbers. The, that password is found on your student credentials form, which you will get from us usually at orientation or when you come to pick up your books. Once you enter that, hit sign in. If you're on your personal computer, meaning a computer no one else uses, you can hit don't show again and yes, and it will keep you logged in. Also, it will give you, when you log in for the first time, an option to save your username and password. It will pop up in the top right corner of your page. Hit save. Um, you don't need to hit sync afterwards, but just hit save and you'll be good to go. So when you log in here, um, you will see a lot of information um, and you're like where's my email i'm not there um, usually when you hit email login elsewhere you'll see your inbox and your sent messages and stuff like that you're not there just yet there's another step so don't freak out if you see this page this is the page you want to see um, note on this page that you have access to word excel and powerpoint um, in case you ever need it this is where to use that but the fourth button down here is Outlook. Outlook is your email. So when you click Outlook, it will populate your email into another page. Um, we will have your email like this. Um, your inbox usually um, is um, probably full with email, like emails with your teachers usually. Um, and sometimes with IT, they send reminders and stuff like that. Um, I will let you know that with email, the two things you need to know, uh, two things that you can remember about email is this is how your teachers will communicate with you. Um, this is where class gets canceled, the class gets postponed, um, something happens, you, there's a change in an assignment, something like that, it will go to this student email. Um, teachers will not usually send stuff to your personal email. It will usually go to your student email 99% of the time. So please check this at least once a day, um, at least once a day, just to keep you up to date with everything going on. Also, if there's any, um, you know, if the school's closed for weather or something, um, this is where you'll be noted about that as well. Um, like any other email, I'm not gonna dive in too much to it since pretty much everyone has an email, um, but you just have your inbox and your sent folder, stuff like that. Um, 
And then everything else is really personal preference. So for example, um, if you have to send an email to someone, you can hit new message. And you know, when I hit my new message, I have it set up so that my information's out there. I definitely want people to have my contact information and be able to get a hold of me in any way possible. This is optional and you don't have to do it. You could just put your name at the end and send emails away. Um, you want, if you want to create something like this, it's called a signature. You can create it just by going into settings or um, you can go into um, over here on the bottom and you can hit signatures and you have to create one. Um, usually it's just name, phone number, email if possible, um, stuff like that. I will discard this because we are not gonna send an email right now. In addition, um, I like to be very organized with my um, emails and just with anything. So in my inbox, I created extra folders just to break things out further. So it helps me find them quicker. So for example, you see, I have an academics folder. I have an admissions folder. Um, I have career services, um, faculty. If I speak with any faculty, that's where those conversations go. I have my resources folder. Um, and then I also have voicemails along with tons of others. It just helps me find things quicker instead of searching through tons of emails I get. Um, that's ultimately personal preference, but if you wanna create one for each class to keep the work kind of separate so you don't get confused, it's a good idea as well. The way to create those is you would hit um, create new subfolder when you hit inbox and you can name it whatever you want. So if you're in freshman sem and medical terminology, you can make one called freshman seminar and you can make one called medical terminology and you can kind of keep the email separate if you're, you want that. But like I said, signatures and extra folders are personal preference. Whatever works best for you and whatever you are comfortable with, if you feel like that's too much, don't worry about it. I just wanted to give you that information so you have it in case you need it. The other thing about email, besides communicating with your teachers, um, especially if you're running late to class or something like that, the other thing about email is that is where um, the links to the calendar invite links to your virtual classes will be set. So um, we're currently in a mod right now, but next mod, your teacher will send you a calendar invite to this student email. So when you get that Teams invite, you're gonna hit the um, check mark in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and that will populate it to your Teams calendar. That is super important. It will make your life a lot easier for accessing your virtual classes for that module. Um, for example, if you don't get one or anything like that, let us know or feel free to reach out to the teacher um, and they can send you the direct link to the class. Um, or you can even go into Moodle if you're comfortable with Moodle yet and go in that way and on the courses page, find the link to, um, you know, your classes in there as well for Teams. So literally all you need to take out of email is communicate with your teachers as much as possible. And then also accept your Teams calendar invites here. Check it at least once a day and you'll be good to go. Um, also, I mentioned there's two ways that you can access your student email. The other way, if you feel like this is too many steps or a little too much for you, you can definitely um, download the Mildred Ellie app on your phone. Um, it is through the app or Google Play Store. It is free and you will use the login credentials on your credential sheet that you, same ones that you use to get into the computer version. Um, it's just a few less steps, but if you don't want that on your phone or something like that, you want to kind of separate personal and school or something like that, you can totally do that. It's personal preference. As long as you're able to check it at least once a day, you'll be good to go. Um, if you have any more questions about email um, or just accessing email in either way, the app or the through the student portal, um, please let me know. I'm usually at the Pittsfield campus, 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday, and I can be reached by phone, email, uh, text, stop in, whatever you're comfortable with, and we can work through it. You can reach me at 413-442-0333. Thanks so much, everyone.